שלום עליכם, ברוכים הבאים לנצרי, נזרין טורס אדי ג'קסוויל, וולקום לנזרין טורס אדי ג'קסוויל. Oh my gosh, it's been so long since I've done uh, a live video on here. It's been like what, like 20 to 30 minutes? Oh my gosh, it's been forever. I thought I'd never come back to here again. But anyways, so um, I'm going to try to get my buddy uh, Yoshia on here. We're going to talk about some stuff. He watched me, you know, uh, talk about my, uh, the, paper, the essay that I wrote that I, uh, that I, you know, recited to you guys. Um, I had some other people watching and stuff, but... Uh, yeah, we're gonna try to get on him, get him on here. He's all the way in Phoenix, Arizona, right now. So I miss him, miss having him on here. It's great to ha that I might kind of have him back in the split screen thing going on, so that I'll be cool. I'm just gonna wait. I'm waiting for him to get on, and um, yeah, and then I'll add him in here. So you give me a moment, people, please. Is that one minute, please? I forget how to say that. But yeah, just give me, just give him a moment. He should be on here somewhat soon. I gotta throw this back here. But yeah, any day now. Any day now. I wish this thing didn't take so long. So yeah, I'm wondering how, let me just put on some music while people wait so this isn't some boring video on, so people aren't just sick and tired of this craziness. Whoa, what is that? Uh, let me see. Yeah, it's still not on here. Oh, those are called Jawas. Why are they running? They're running because there's crazy Michigan people shooting at each other. That's why they're running. I don't know. Maybe I'll put on some lo or... Dad, I don't okay. know why they're running. There we go. All right, let's see. You got Yoshi on here. I'm going to bring him on. Okay. On the Tsari Nazarene yeah. tour of study Jacksonville. That's crazy. Yeah, man. It's yeah. been a minute. It's been a minute. It's like, like a month. Got, uh, like months <laughs> but, um. Seriously. Well, I mean, that move to Arizona, it took a lot out of me. I mean, it's. Some parts were good. Some parts were just frustrating. All I mean, just, okay. just frustrating. But, um, Brooke Hashem, I made it here. Um,. So you got some things that iron out, but what? Uh, things, things are right. okay. Things are okay. So uh, why don't you, why don't you, uh, so the people who are watching or will be watching, why don't you give people like an update of what Hashem has been doing, using you to do in uh, Arizona and Phoenix? Oh, <coughs> uh, well, I've been uh, traveling from shul to shul or synagogue to synagogue. Uh, Messianic first, and after I go through all the Messianic synagogues in, um, in Phoenix, then I'll start going through the Reform, the Conservative, the Orthodox, and uh, if there's a Nazarene here, then I'll check them out. Uh, I'll probably make two laps just to get a sense of the community as a whole, and then, um, you know, see where Hashem okay. has, has for me to go. Um yeah, there, there's, of course, in each um, shul, there's different ways they conduct service. Uh, there's different things that, uh, okay. different liturgy, um, different uh, type of praise and worship. <laughs> All right, some, some do less, yeah. some do more. Um, you know, it, it, I understand. But one thing I'm, I, I'm noticing about this community here is they have a lot, a lot of love for 
Okay. The people for the neighbor. The second commandment absolutely being uh, put to effect greatly. I, I do see that. I, do, okay. I know. I noticed that. And that's do that, That's that's good. All right. That's good. I mean, without that, the rest of it is not null and void. Wait. Other than that, I'm what saying. is null and void? Uh, okay. uh, if without uh, without love for your neighbor, everything yeah, else true. is null and void. You like you like kind of so, from the main purpose uh, of the Torah. So, oh well, what can you do about it? Yeah. Um. But as a a netzeri, it's a a bit of a challenge. I mean, the the kosher restaurants and the uh the kosher deli, you know, is it's not close by. It's not like it was in. In Florida, Florida. I, I gotta That's drive a distance, yeah. so it's a, it's a, it's a bit you of a struggle. You know, maybe huh? like I'll just like maybe you just call them people and they'll like send a drone and just drop food off at your house. Hey, that could work. Down. Hey, I'll go for that too. But, that um, work. what else? Uh, okay, so that's pretty cool. I'm trying to, th I already told you about the whole demon possession I ended up running into with the whole homeless ministry. Oh my gosh. That was just nuts. What's that lady doing? Where is she on? Oh, uh, she that, gets rebuked at the minute. It's normal. It happens. <laughs> Why she got that big great sword? Oh, she's just going to slay some Nephilim that try to show up. She's going to cut some Nephilim's heads off. It's 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 nothing to be alarmed about. It's normal. <laughs> like, what? Oh, man. Oh, it's normal. It's normal. I mean, truly, it, it is. I mean, people are people. Some people are more... Um, how you call it? Um, uh, maybe a little bit. I thought I'd get some better light, but yeah. we'll just go with this because it, it's just, yeah. But, um, you know, some people they've gone through multiple different difficulties in life, they haven't been able to really um, overcome those okay. situations, and so, um, you know, they succumb to them instead of overcoming them. Yeah. Things will come to them, and it takes it takes effect. And a lot of people uh, that haven't overcome their difficulties or struggle, uh, yeah. they act out uh, in the flesh okay. and not the spirit. And that's kind of what you see. Uh, some people will. I mean, and just just bear with me. All right, this is a bad analogy, but you can see the um, okay. the similarity um, when it comes to an animal. You know, they will. Um, I mean, if, 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 if your puppy is wounded, wounded, right, and you go to try to you know, comfort them or something like that, you touch near the wound, the animal's going to react. It's going to bite yeah. you, right? I mean, it's not, it's, it doesn't want to, but it just reacts yeah. in that way because it's protected. And in the same way, you have people that yeah. are wounded also. And once you come near that wounded area in their life, they will react okay. in a negative way. Um, they will try to um, cover it up using different types of speech. They'll try and cover it up using okay. violence, uh, profanity. They might even uh, be, you know, uh, very nice to you in efforts to cause you to, um, uh, you know, Oh, Avoid that question. You know, a little bit. Just know, you know like, what I mean? you're gonna, you're live so right now. You're gonna that. be on YouTube. So just watch, watch yourself. <laughs> so, do anything that you're. I don't know. Hey, 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 truth is true. Okay. <laughs> Simply put, if you're wounded physically, if you're wounded spirit, if you're wounded, if you're wounded physically, right, you okay. go to the doctor, right? You clean the wound. Yes. You get up, right. Common sense. You should do the same thing spiritually. I mean, if someone hurts your emotions, you need to get that yep. checked. You get it worked out. You're supposed to go. You're supposed to be able to go to your spiritual quote leader um, to get some advice to get it diagnosed, yep. and they're supposed to give you instructions on how to remedy the situation, right? I mean, just common yeah, sense. If you can't diagnose yourself, I mean, then yeah, get someone else to help diagnose you. That's where the you know the uh, knowledge comes hey, into play. Unfortunately, many people will miss you that gift. But that's all another story. We'll get into it. All right, yeah. Some other time. But yeah, you see the point. And hence, 
your guy with the uh, you know the demon influence yeah, situation. Had a mouth on him. Ah, shalom, Tiffany. Tiffany's on here. I got my little cousin attacking me right now. Hey, bro, just know we're live right now, and you're acting like a little machine. But yeah, so. Anyways, as I'm trying to desperately um talk something we were talking about earlier. Damn, can you go sit down? If you're not, if you're gonna go, I can you not mess with me. I'm I'm doing this video. It's gonna be on YouTube. Anyways, so okay, so thoughts. Um, do you, did you uh, listen to the whole thing about me talking about my essay or reciting it or whatever? Yes, I got most of it. Um, because like yep. I said, I was driving uh, during the essay okay. for a good portion of it. Then I finally got to the house and you know all that. But um, dude, I mean, it, it was a legit. Uh, hold on, who's that? Hey, Tiffany, Shalom, so, like, Shalom, what, what were you doing? saying? Oh, yeah. Um, it was a legit uh, speech, man. Oh, you wow. gave a great share. You gave a great share. The essay, uh, hopefully you got a good grade oh, on the essay. I, I mean, with all the, the work you put oh, into yeah. it, the research. Hold on. Yeah. So, the essay that I recited, I got a B on it. What? No! no. Uh, let me guess. It was grammar, yeah, wasn't it? Was, it, was, it was just yeah, spelling. Maybe the liberal. Yeah, uh, I, I think maybe the liberal. Well, what just is, happened? This thing just went away. What maybe happened? Maybe the liberation part was too short. Like when I was trying to explain how the Torah is liberating, because there was a huge mess I had to clean up with like all the misconceptions about Shaul's letters. So, uh, um, yeah. So there was like, yeah. I just that 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 took up most of the paper. So hold on. I'm going to I'm going to remove Mr. Mashiga one minute. Because he's he doesn't get the concept of live videos on Facebook. Lima. Do a live video. Just messing with me. Come here. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Lisa, stand up. Okay. Oh man, that's crazy. You there? Where'd you go? Oh my gosh. Yoshia had to ended up leaving. Oh, darn it. Okay, so the battery on Yoshia's tablet went dead. So what are we going to do? Okay, Tiffany, so what we're talking about tonight, uh, we're just kind of, I don't know, we're just kind of uh, spitting out random stuff because my previous Torah study video was about, an, it was an essay that I was reciting, and um, we're kind of just, this is kind of like an aftermath. So let's see, somebody commented and said, it was William T. Underwood said, so you study the Judaism Torah, so when you figure out it, anti-Jesus. Uh, I'm having trouble understanding what you said, William. Do you think you can uh, maybe uh, expand on that or clarify that a bit? Okay, so Yoshia Yoshi said he's going to be back in a minute. He's going to, um, he is going to, what do you call it? He's, I guess he's going to charge his phone or something. So we're just going to have to wait a little while. What yeah. All right, what's the question mark for, Tiffany? Well, yeah, hopefully we'll get him. I'm going to put on some music or something because you can't just be sitting here waiting for things to happen. I swear, technology, whenever you're trying to do something for the... Whenever you're trying to do the will of Hashem, technology is your greatest enemy. Always. I'm telling you. There's always problems with the technology. Let me uh, let me go put on some loafy or some some craziness. Let me see. Please, because I didn't understand that earlier. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, <laughs> I didn't understand what he was saying. It sounded like there was a bit of a grammar issue going on. No, I'd much much rather listen to a low fee that I know does not have cuss words on it. Uh, 
Plus some of these Lofi. I like listening to Lofi. It's basically like a, it's like a sort of like a really soft, chill hip hop instrumental, and they got sampling, and they have some pretty good tune, pretty good tunes, chilling tunes to it. But let me see. I'm waiting for Yoshia. I'm waiting for Yoshia. Maybe I'll call him on here, while so we can t at least talk while we wait. Cause I don't want to like waste the time on here. Cause this video is gonna be ending. Oops, I didn't know the mess of my house you guys just saw. Yo, um, I'm back on. Hang hey, up. All right, all right. Okay, so apparently if she is back on. Oh, it's saying that I can't bring him on camera though. If she says I can't bring you. Oh, there we go. Sweet. Sorry about that, people. There's always something trying to stop stuff like this. Ingele. Just a moment, just a moment. It's adding him. So far, this video's been like 20 minutes. Okay. That was oh, yeah, yeah. Trying to stall and trying to. What? The phone is terrible. The phone is terrible. Yeah, that's. I've been playing with these chargers all like crazy because I knew it was gonna. My, one of my things was gonna die out on me. I'm telling you, you gotta take these extra extra precautions. Because I swear, I really think Satan lives in technology. Like, it's like his dwelling place. Because every time, a lot of times, so many t way too many times when you're trying to do the will of Hashem, technology is involved. The technology always fails, like, all the time. It's just so mischievous. It's crazy. It's annoying. Anyways, keep it PG, keeping it PG. Exactly. Well, we about, uh, Tiffany was wondering, uh, oh, well, first question is, at William. What did William say? He said, so you so study. study. Do you want to read it? The Judaism Torah. So Torah is Torah. Period. Torah is Torah. Judaism. Torah. You were Judaism. Like, and it cut you off or something. Oh, okay. Well, all right. Let, let, let's get to, uh, terminology correct first. That you know, Words mean things. All right? Let's read the question. Judaism. Or, uh, or the uh, so, so you, you study the you Judaism, study Judaism Torah, Torah, so when you figure out so it's anti-Jesus. It anti-Jesus? Anti -Jesus? What? Okay, um, <laughs> um, no, Torah, <laughs> all right, no, Torah is not anti-Jesus, okay? No, that's, whoever told you that, they lied to you, okay? Just make that clear, they lied to you. Read it from beginning to end. Just, they lie mm -hmm. to you. Okay, the Torah testifies of Yeshua. Okay, Yeshua says okay, it himself. This, this. He said, he said so, believe yeah. Moshe, believe so, me, because Moshe wrote of me. Listen to, listen to them no more. Please no. Just, just, just do yourself the favor. Okay, so I'm saying. Just do yourself the favor. Don't, just, don't, don't listen to them anymore. Just spend time reading and figuring out yourself. Okay? Yeah. Just... And no, Torah is not anti Yeshua, anti Messiah, anti Jesus. It's well, not. Okay. Just, but if, if that that if that's what you were trying to yeah, ask, yeah, that's it was or, her comment statement. That, um, I don't know if that see, was a question or just a comment. Sorry, my pants is acting up. Yeah, you know. it's not, yeah. This not it's not a you know Jeopardy. You know? <laughs> What are we? What are we talking about, bro? I, 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 I'm, about, I'm just thinking. Um, so we were talking about, if I can remember correctly, I had my cousin attacking me. Nice. It's like, yeah, I, mean, no, I call him Bangs and Blonde well, okay. because he's got he's got bangs and he's blonde. Or sometimes like, <laughs> but anyway. So what, I think what we were talking about before your phone died is that, uh, um, I guess you were saying that my my essay was a good spiel or whatever. Uh, like, my my uh, my essay. Okay, the essay, yeah. Um, uh, it, it, dude, great essay. I like I like where you were going with yeah. that. Then we put um, if, if you said you're going to post it on the uh, uh, the three website, try, right? Or the Facebook page. I'll try. I don't know if I can post a word document on Facebook. I don't know if I can do that. Don't post a word document. Post a PDF. 
Yeah, post it as a PDF so they can go through read it, you know, section by section. And, you know, yeah, that's, it's good work because it really does give a, a lot of evidence, a lot of truth, uh, historical, uh, biblical. Uh, the but that was the other one that better all, in terms of uh, history. The other paper, that's its goal, is to, like, explain when um, uh, Christianity separated from Nazareth and Judaism. However, um, so my thesis in the paper is that it was Ignatius who started Christianity. He was the first person to coin the term and to declare this anti-Torah theology. But in the video, Yishai, or Aharon ben Dan, the Danite, told me that um, that in, in the Syriac version of Ignatius's letters, the anti-Judaism stuff is yeah. not in there. And that when it was translated in Greek, that stuff was added. That's what Aharon said, said to me. And I'm just like saying, so I guess that means the translators started Christianity? Like, I don't get this. Like, who started? Well, well, but, but hey, I'm, not, I'm not going to say he's wrong. I haven't looked into it, but it's interesting. Exactly. Look into it. Look into it. Um, but I mean, next time we have yeah. um, a, a Shabbos discussion or something like that, we can talk about it. I don't know. No, I wasn't discussing a Shabbos, but definitely uh, a journal read or something. That'd be good. Um, but I, I, it does go back to the truth that we have found uh, through history when it comes to biblical text um, and There's other writings. Even uh, so-called church fathers who were tried to be Torah observant. There's um, Clement of Alexandria, yeah. and then there was this other guy, I forget his name, but there was another one too. And um, so, like... Well, I, 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 I'm going to say this, and, you know, it is what it is. I mean, you can look through history, you can look through... Um, yeah, really history, and see the change. That there's been a type of uh, conspiracy to separate um, people from God's word, just his word and his ways. Yep. And that conspiracy has not only entered into the church, but it's also entered into the doctrine and caused a division. You know, we find that, you know, Mashiach, we find that uh, Hashem is a uniter, not a divider so much. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. there, there is where it comes to sanct sanctification, but that's of the hearts of the soul, not so much of the people, because we're supposed to be a light unto the people. And once again, a uniter. Yeah. On the one hand, you know, and so you see the visions occurring a lot of places. That's not a shem. I mean, if a person can use an extra letter in a text and cause a division into a different sect of faith, you know, you might want to analyze the text. And if you find that that text has been altered from the original, what does that congregation do? Do they make teshuva? Do they make the correction and return? Or do they continue in, you know, that doctrine that we found to be false? You know, I mean, it... It's, it's the issue of pride, and it's the issue, a true issue of Teshuvah. Because like when you make Teshuvah, you acknowledge, you know, what was done wrong. You make amends, and you go back to what's right. Yeah. I like what Tiffany said. She said, that's how the enemy rolls. He's yeah. going to be rolling around that I pit mean, in the future. How, how about that pit, huh? How about that fiery pit? <laughs> but, uh, oh, man. Um, yeah. But, you know, um, but, yeah, you see, I might be right. Because all it takes is a little bit of um, alteration in history in the history books. I mean, look at the American history, so to speak. We know all of that is, I mean, oh, okay, okay, I'm just saying, I love America, you know, for what it has, you know, some of the things it's done, not everything. But in the history books, a lot of things are missing. A lot of atrocities are missing, you know? And the only show in the history books a good side, not so much the bad yeah. side. So that's in history. That's a, um, a, 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 a propagandist history. And it's true. We don't talk about what actually happened to the Indians. We don't. No, know, we do. It, it, it does, I don't know. I hear about it. But here, here and there, but it's not in the history books as far as um, in mainstream history books. It's not there. Some other things will be taken out. So when it comes to history, all it takes is somebody with an agenda to alter this, that, and the other, or these certain things out, you know, for their candidate yeah. or for their movement. And it's 
same thing as I, I'm quite um, well. There's evidence that the same thing has happened in the religious community. Certain things, certain books have been left out. Oh yeah. Certain scriptures. There's certain there. I I personally believe that our canon Bibles is not the full Word yeah. of God. No, of course it's I not. I mean, do we miss two letters? I, from I personally think some of it should be in there. Um, at least as of now. I mean, I don't. I could maybe I could change. Hashem might reveal to me something and that's changed my mind. I don't know. To me, Hanukkah seems to be pretty legit. Um, it has a lot of. I have, think, if I'm not mistaken, the book of uh, Sefer Hanukkah, the book of Hanukkah has a lot of prophecies about Yeshua, about Messiah. So that's yeah. Uh, there's two letters from Paul that are missing. I mean, really? I'm, I'm, in those letters, they would be very similar to your essay. I'm just, I'm just joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I, I was saying, I was joking that uh, the, the the two letters of Paul that are missing will probably be very supportive of your essay. <laughs> are you sure that's <laughs> a joke? <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, I'm these, these like, letters, other two letters that are missing, and, and uh, halfway. They're going to try to make the division between the Jew and the Greek, know, so to speak. How do you know, you know that it? there are two missing letters of Paul? Yeah. How do you know that there are two letters of Paul that are missing? Because he refers to them. Because they're what? <laughs> yes. Uh, in my previous letter, and this is like you know, like there is no second, there is no second letter. There's, there is no previous letter. Hmm. Yeah. In fact, um, Yohanan talks about it um, in a couple of his uh, of his shares on uh, Kehila Elohim. He talks about the missing letters of Paul. Wow. Yeah. So I'm like, but, okay. But we don't uh, have any access to them, do we? Well, I would say now, not, well, where are they at? We don't know. I suspect they're probably in uh, the what do you call that? The, the place where the Pope guy, Popeye guy. The Vatican? Where, where, yeah, they're probably in the Vatican. Yeah, someplace. I'm sure. There's probably a whole bunch of Torah, <laughs> Torah stuff in like. Real, <laughs> real, 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 real. See, there is a uh, big, 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 hey, what's up, brother? Shalom, shalom. Yeah, you know, four letters of Corinth, we'll get two. <laughs> we have to have two. I uh, got lost in the mail. <laughs> see, this is why I use UPS and I don't, I don't use DHL, okay? See, DHL lost the letters of Corinth. <laughs> Somewhere between uh, Jerusalem and probably Greece, okay? Somewhere it, it got lost in the mail. Oh. I know what happened. They were lost in a shipwreck. <laughs> right, I don't know. <laughs> oh, man, that is, that's, a, that's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, Who knows? But, you know, in the meantime, uh, all, I'm, all I'm doing is encouraging people to you know, go back to the root, examine the text, um, check check, triple check uh, the person that's ministering to you. You know, be like the Bereans, go back and check and see if what they told you was true. If you find out that they might not be exactly accurate, approach them about it. Because they need to, I mean, if they made, if they made a mistake and said something wrong or say something wrong, you know, your correction or your, your information might help them in the future. You know, in the Proverbs, uh, people have been posting in the Proverbs that says, um, um, you know, if you, I, I can't quote it verbatim, but like, it's like, if you, if you correct a fool, he'll like, he'll get mad at you. But if you correct a wise person, he'll appreciate it. Like something like that. Um, yeah, exactly. True. Uh, Judy, uh, hold on. Judaism, sometimes like Christianity and sometimes say Jesus is in hell and false God. No, I wouldn't say Judaism does not say that individuals. Say that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and it's quite even the say. Talmud. Um, the Talmud. Yeah. The Talmud is rabbinic discussion, so not every rabbi yeah. agrees with each other. The Talmud is not a uh, biblical Torah. No, God did not give Talmud. Okay. Talmud is just a commentary, just like you have Matthew Henry, just you have Charles Spurgeon in Christianity, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's just a commentary. What our discussion is right now. It's a commentary. Literally, a person could write everywhere we write that we have, we're saying now, write it, put it in the book, and consider it Talmud. It's just a discussion. Yeah, so like some, about, some commentary about, Talmud is going to be against Yeshua. However, a lot of commentary, a lot of stuff from Chazal points to Yeshua. 
In fact, a lot of exactly. Messianics who come from or believers in Yeshua who come from Orthodox back background often use the Talmud to um, to evangelize to uh, to bring Jewish people to their Jewish Messiah. Um, yeah, Benny, yeah. Lee, Benny Lee said he uh, he wrote after he wrote four letters to Corinth. He said, however, I do believe the sixty six books we have now is the canon. I believe it's canon. However, I don't believe that it's the full thing. The full canon. Not only yeah, it, yeah. Full, I, I think it's a think <laughs> You know how to tell if a rabbi is lying? He said his lips are moving. <laughs> well, Mr. Underwood, that, that, that doesn't fly here. Okay, that don't fly yeah. here. Okay, yeah. that, that's if no good. Rabbi is speaking, is saying that Yeshua is Messiah, you know, is he lying? So I think, I think he's, you know, you know that could only apply to um, ones who are uh, really against Yeshua. What? Oh, yeah, she got kicked off somehow. I wonder if his phone died again. I'll call him. I'm telling you, that's the technology. He got booted. How do you get booted? Well, that's weird. It says, I can't bring Yoshia on camera. <laughs> what? Oh, my gosh. Is Google getting mad? <laughs> what is it? Well, this is Facebook, so I don't really get how that would work. I don't know. All right, Yoshia, I don't know how. Maybe you should uh, get off and then get back on, and then I can probably add you back. Because that is just crazy. But, uh, let's see, it's 9.15. Yeah, we haven't been going on too long. Okay, Yoshia, try getting off and getting back on, and maybe I can add you again. That is crazy. What is going on? Technology, I swear, Skynet is really trying to... Uh, uh, make us quiet. <laughs> I'm talking about Judaism, no you. I'm having, a, I'm having trouble understanding, uh, your comments, William. You th maybe you can tweak them a little bit, because I'm having trouble understanding. I don't know, maybe you're typing too fast? You seem to have some typos going on. Okay, I'm going to try adding Yoshia again. That was so weird. <laughs> hey, what was that? <laughs> oh, man, that, that was fun. That was, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that was funny. Oh, my goodness. That, that, yeah, I, I got booted Why'd again. Why booted? getting booted. Why are you huh? booted? How do I got booted? After I replied to uh, Mr. Underwood, I got kicked out, man. Come on, Underwood. Well, he commented again. He I'm said, "I'm talking about Judaism, no you." I'm like, I'm having under understanding. Not <laughs> Benny Lee said Skynet, <laughs> haha. I'm telling you, bro, Skynet is horrible. You gotta have a, a lot of respect for Judaism, okay? You have what? to. You have to have respect for Judaism, okay? You can't be you a follower of Yeshua what? and have nothing to do with Judaism. It's impossible. Yeshua practiced Judaism. Came from the. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you get it. I think it means not you. For the individuals that will say Yeshua is not Messiah, okay? I have no respect for that for that type of mindset because it's it's a false mindset. It's a false mindset. Reveals him to be Mashiach. Reveals him to be the Messiah. You can't deny it. To deny it, that's like a sin to your own self. I mean, what does the scripture say? If you don't do good and don't do it, you do the same, right? Yeah. Um, and also, you can't. Same. Um, you can't. Uh, you can't be anti-Judaism because in my pre if you watch my other video that I'm going to put on YouTube tonight, but you can find it on Facebook. I, I historically demonstrate that the early church was a form of Judaism. It was not Christianity. Just being historical. I'm not trying to say I don't like Christians or anything. I'm just speaking a historical fact. It was a sect of Judaism. Yeah. The Bible even says that in Acts 24.5. So you can't really be anti-Judaism and follow Yeshua and his disciples unless you're going to follow that religion that uh, later Gentiles created, um, which I thought was Ignatius of Antioch, might be some pe other people. But that's not what the apostle Yeshua and the apostles followed. Just historically speaking, 
I know that might hurt some people's theology, but that's it's the historical truth. So, and I was now. Here's a here's a here's a pretty good question. Okay, here's a pretty good question. Um, did Hashem give us Judaism? No. What did he give us? He gave us the, his his word. Yeah, he gave us his word and told us to follow it. Yeah. Man calls it Judaism. Me personally, I have respect to Judaism. Uh, I learned a lot from it. I'm just part of the family. Simply put, Dad says do this. You know, simply simply put, that's what you do. I mean, it's not difficult. You know, when you take away religion, all you have left is relationship. Now, the walking out relationship, it hits your instruction. Man calls that Judaism. Some people will just call it obedience to what God says. Yeah. If you if you if you kind of get where I'm going, now there's different sects of Judaism uh, that have different teachings. Some people will say Dad told us to do this, or God told us to do this, when God didn't tell you to do that. Like for instance, even in some messianic temples, we have prayers, right? <laughs> that. It says God commanded to us to do this, and God didn't command us to mm. do that. Even even in Messianic Judaism, there are some mistakes. You know well, why? Even in Judaism Judaism too. Why? Because right now, um, it's got most. It's got so many humans involved. <laughs> even though Yeshua is our yeah. source, you know he's the head of the church. Um, he uh, even um, may, we kind of like you know we are the immediate. Kind of speakers about it. Let's see what William comments again. No, and Jesus did did like it at all, and they killed him for that. No Jews, Judea, not Jews, Judaism. William, he was talking was, about not, their not application. Question, did it? They were, <laughs> I'm having oh, okay. really trouble. Right. You, I'm having you, a lot of trouble understanding your comments. I I, I think I know what you're referring to uh, because. There are a couple instances, numerous instances, where Yeshua had had to correct uh, a lot of the religious leadership at that time. And even today, correction needs to be done to some leadership in this time. Doesn't mean he didn't follow the right way. He just had to correct them and then their application on it, their understanding, because the heart of the issue was their heart, in fact. They were doing things... Um, out of fleshly desire, not out of a heart desire to serve the Father, you know, period. So they're, they're following re and uh, religion. They're following religion without relationship. It is, yeah, bingo. Exactly. They're following religion without relationship. Yeah. And that's what we warn it's, you and caution you and anyone else that's watching about. It has about. to be because of your relationship. That's why I do, uh, that's why I yes. do certain halakha, like why I do the shakhalit, why I do the mincha, the mincha, and other stuff like that, because, because it's between, it's about my relationship with Hashem, you know. Yeah, simply put, Father tells you uh, to go cut the lawn on, on a uh, on a Monday or a Sunday, right? Why do you do it? Because your father told you. Your relationship's there. Now you have obedience. You have instructions of obedience. You have your orders. You have your marching orders. Unfortunately, a lot of people aren't marching. A lot of people just sit there, you know, in the house, not doing anything. When the house is a mess, the body of Mashiach is a bit is a bit uh, unhinged because nobody's working. Okay. People are sitting. Just sitting. I want to address something William said. Saying. He says no, and Jesus did not. No, and Jesus did like it That's at all, and they killed him for that. I'm, I, I'm, I think he's referring to the Jews. So, um, one, uh, the Jews did not kill Yeshua. Uh, the Romans did. It was the Romans who was crucified under Pontius Pilate, who was a Roman, not a Jew. And secondly, yes, it was Jews who turned him over. But also, if it wasn't for Jews, you would not know who Yeshua is because Yeshua himself said salvation is of the Jews. I, I, I would like to interject yes. something real fast. Um, if that's what he's saying. I don't know. Oh, my gosh. Are you getting booted off again? Oh, my God. What is going on? Skynet is just having a, a, a time on here. <laughs> Oh, okay. I thought it's you were going to get it. I, I, I get booted again. I get booted again. 
I moved it. I moved it. Just like you just took the foot out and just kicked me again. I was just about to get to a serious point and it kicked me. Am I still alive? Oh, you're like very pixelated no? and it's like. Oh, dude, that's a okay. You gotta um, but I'll say this: okay. in, your interjection. You have to restart that because like, you just started. And it was like, oh, um, uh, the Jews did not uh, sacrifice Mashiach. Uh, the Romans didn't sacrifice Mashiach. The Father sacrificed oh, Mashiach. Yeah, that's, yeah. 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 Everyone else, the Jews, the Romans, me, you, everyone else, we were just pawns. In the truest sense, in the truest sense, we were just pawns to enable Hashem to fulfill His plan from the beginning, from the uh, God Eden or God Eden. From there, we were just, in a sense, pawns and if it to wasn't bring we about. Being killed, we would not have an atonement for for the chatein. So you should be thankful instead of condemning people, in my opinion, if that's what you're talking about. So, I, I understand the thing, but it's like, how do, you, do you really say thanks? I'm just telling like, you, anybody you know, who has an anti Jewish mindset, you're not going to like Yeshua when he comes back. If you're anti Jewish, you're not going to like Yeshua when he comes back. If you're anti Semitic, you're not going to like the, the, the Semite that, okay, that's going to rule. You're not going to like him if you're anti Semitic. Dude. You're, you're in a losing yeah. battle, okay? Straight up, you're in a losing battle. Joel actually warns about it in, a, in Romans 11, I think. Is it Romans 11? He says, you know, Gentiles are being grafted in not to get haughty, because just as like some of the Jews were grafted yeah. in and can be kicked out, you can get kicked yeah. out too. And, yeah, so. Dude, dude, you know, simply put, you got to have love for your brother. Simply put, I mean, second, second greatest commandment, man, no matter what situation it is, no matter how you were raised, you got to have love for your brother. You have, you have to have a special type of love for the Jewish people. For all of Israel, you got to have a special love for them. You got to. If you don't, man, you're going, you're going, to, you're going to end up loving them regardless. Might as well get it started now. Yeah. I'm, and also, Hebrew, bro, learn some Hebrew, dude. I'm trying, I'm trying to That'll remember. help you a long time. When we started this video, I think we started at like 840. It's like 925, so, you know, don't want to go crazy. <laughs> 25, bro. Talking about. <laughs> I got stuff now. Oh, yeah, dude. It's completely dark out here. What is it? 25 over here. What is it? I know. I know. I know. So, originally, uh, <laughs> um, I, I was going to have my friend uh, on here that uh, she and her husband are new. She she was she and her husband are new. I was going to. Huh? Wait, what? Uh -huh. You were like. Go bottom again. I couldn't like. Um. Anyways, I was gonna have people on here. Can I talk? I think <laughs> we use a bunch of bad. Huh? Yes, we're gonna crash the system, dude. We're gonna crash the system. Okay. So originally, I was going to uh, uh have a Torah study where we were talking about the uh, dietary instructions, Leviticus 11 and 14. I wrote a questionnaire. I still haven't answered that. The tenth question, but uh, I'm gonna try to get my friend uh, for a tour study next time. If not, I don't know. I'll, figure, I'll try to figure it out. But we were gonna go over the dietary instructions, go over a mis mis uh, misinterpreted texts from the New Testament about the dietary instructions, or that some of them uh, don't even have anything to do with Leviticus yeah. 11 or Deuteronomy 14. But people treat them like they do, like they're no, no. like they're um. They're doing away with it. I'm like, no, they're not even talking about it. <laughs> but yeah. Oh. Uh, okay. Um. Today, according to the calendar I got from Florida, uh, today is uh, what was it? Lakhbal Omar. Yeah, Lakhbal Omar. Apparently, yeah. Uh, apparently, today is a day wherein people either don't get married. Um. You have a bar mitzvah. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
don't cut your hair. What about the bonfire? <laughs> I think it's like if it's on shop and falls on the shop, you don't cut, you don't have the bonfire. I'm like, but what's that? What's a bonfire got to do with with Lock Bottle Man? The counting of what's that got to do with the counting of Bonfire? They say in some sources say that. Um, I actually posted this on Facebook so you guys can look at you know stuff like that. But uh, it said that it, it, during this time, people are like overly ca uh, cautious or uh, sensitive because they're not sure that their harvest is going to come in. It's like the midway point or something. It's like, you know, what, 25 days to uh, shovel up? Okay. Um, that people are like, you know, concerned during this time period. I'm like, if anything, this would be a, a good time for fasting. I mean, it's always a good time for fasting. Especially I if you don't have any food. I'm going to you to fast. I don't know. That's kind of how I do it. Like, I just Listen, fast. What? Like, oh, I feel like fasting. I, I'm usually kind of like... What? Like, I'm talking about Dichotomatic theology? What? What? Dichotomatic theology. Like, I think he's talking about, like, using the word dichotomy, like, theology that is has a dichotomy. Yeah, like, oh. like, I think he's talking about, like, using the word dichotomy, like, theology that is has a dichotomy. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like, I think he's referring <laughs> to, like, uh, following Yeshua and being anti Jewish or anti Judaism or whatever. Yeah, um,. Like uh, yeah, just you might want to take another look at Yeshua. Um, look at what he does. Look at what he doesn't do. Okay, uh, you find a lot of truth in what people do and what they don't do. Ignore what they say. Watch their actions. I'm just saying that will give you, especially in the scriptures. Take a look at what they actually do. That will tell you some truth. That will actually tell you what you believe, because you do what you believe. In most cases, you won't do what you, if you don't believe something, you're not going to yep. do it. But if you believe something, you are going to do it. So I could literally watch you for a day or watch anyone for a day and get a pretty good sense of what they believe. Same thing with me. I mean, if you want to test yourself, invite an unbeliever into your house. And then at the end, let them give you a sense, let them tell you, you know, ask them, what do you, what do you think I believe? And they'll tell you straight up. Dude. I mean, in fact, you probably ask Facebook because you're being monitored 24 7 on Facebook, right? They'll tell you exactly what you believe because they'll send the advertisements to you, right? No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, you got a point there, so. That's true. <laughs> it's conspiracy, bro. It's a conspiracy. But, um, yeah, things are good here for the most part, dude. Yeah. Uh, well, go. Yeah. That's what, I, that's what I got, bro. I'm going to keep it short because I know it's new for you. Uh, it's still kind of early for me. I ain't going to put you out there like Yeah. That. I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm glad to have you back on. I'm glad this thing works. This is so cool, this thing right here. It's so useful. Um, to be able to have fun. Cool, I just cool. wish I could get other people on here, you know? Dude, we need to go with the whole Brady Bunch thing. You uh, know what I'm saying? We got to go with the whole Brady Bunch. Because it's just like, it's like. <laughs> or a bunch of Mitsari bunch. I don't know. <laughs> Mitsari bunch. Yeah. Yeah. One fifth Wait, over, give us give a share. Go to the next one. Give a share. I don't know. Yeah, man. that'd be cool. Because <laughs> what yeah. I like with the uh, back here is that if I were to have multiple, because like, you know how like when we were originally do it, we would somebody would call, give their spiel, then they'd hang up. Somebody else might call. Same thing with this. Somebody will jump in video, give their spiel, and like, okay, I don't like what you're saying. I'm booting you off. Kick them out, and then somebody else comes on and gives their spiel. I'm just kidding. But, in order for that to occur, dude, you gotta you gotta put your number on there. Uh, give the Google uh, Voice well, number. Tiffany, I can only bring on one person at a time, unfortunately, so it seems. Uh okay. Hey, 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 bro, bro, this is what you do. Um, if somebody wants to get on, just type in. I want I want to share through video and just close me out. Bring that person on. Oh yeah. So and then on, once they're done, I want to join, and then I'll kick your shield out of your shield. Oh, this is going to kick me out, y'all. Oh, my husband. I'm going to get out of here. Look at those vibes. Oh, good grief. So. All right, dude. Uh, shalom, shalom, shabbat shalom. Good Shabbos. Shalom. Uh, uh, shalom. Shabbat shalom. I wanted to um, discuss this week's Torah portion at Kehla Elohim. Um, but you know, we can say that for another time. Like I said, yeah, we're getting late, so uh, we'll talk about uh, it. We'll see what we're gonna do. All right, we're here. Uh, everyone else out there, you know, and, uh, and, uh, have a good Shabbos when it comes. All right.
Okay, so that was awesome. I'm so glad to have uh, um, Yoshia on here. That was really cool. I don't. I don't know. I got like 15 minutes left. Uh, uh, Tiffany, did you want to come? Did you want to join or something? I can add you on here if you want. Um, let's see. Well, it doesn't say I can. It doesn't give me the option to. Oh, I can bring you on camera. So just let me know. I can only have one person on at a time. So if anybody wants to come on, uh, uh, go ahead and uh, send a link in the comment. So yeah. Anyways, I'll probably go on till like I don't know nine forty at the at the latest nine fifty if anybody joins. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> Tiffany's not ready. Okay, that's fine. Um, but uh, yeah, maybe we. Yeah, next time we could probably do it. Yeah, next time. But uh, thank you guys for uh, anybody for those of you watching. I hope maybe me and Yoshia maybe have said some things. Get Benny on. If he's up for it, if he wants to join, if you want to join Benny, just let me know. Just go ahead and uh, send in the comment, because otherwise I'm about to uh, close this thing out. I don't think he's still watching, but I don't know. But yeah, <coughs> so if he, if he comments, then I will go ahead and add him on. But other than that, I think I'm probably just going to close out on this. But I am glad to finally be back uh, and do videos again on Natalia and Husband Tour Study Jacksonville. Um, I hope the essay that I did in my other video will will uh, bless you, and I hope maybe me and Yoshia had said something that will be a blessing to you. So may Hashem bless you all and keep you all in the name of Yeshua Rabbeinu, uh, Yeshua our Rebbe, and Shalom Shalom and Laila Tov.